What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a what could have been story about an open world resistance game. Now, that is insanely exciting, uh, you know, on paper or just hearing it out loud. Uh, again, it doesn't really go anywhere. That's kind of the, the sad truth about it. And this comes from the two leads uh, of Days Gone, right? Remember, they went on David Jaffe's show, and they've both actually been on the show previously, but just in, you know, separately. They went on together, and pretty much they, you know, they talked about a couple different things. They talked about even like Siphon Filter. They talked about Days Gone 2 again, uh, about the pitch that really didn't go anywhere. And they were saying one of the key kind of statements was that really Sony was looking for or they were interested in anything, really anything they had to say or anything, uh, any ideas they kind of had besides Days Gone 2. So just kind of give them, you know, whatever. And they talked a bit more about the studio. They said that the whole idea that it was a support studio was not true and that Sony would rather shut them down than to make them a support studio so you know these are guys that were there they are not there anymore they haven't been there in uh, about a year year and a half even two years depending on which one of them you're talking about but one of the biggest things again with resistance just kind of a fun you know again what could have been story is that they actually pitched a resistance open world game they thought okay well we had siphon filter and uh, they didn't really have you know much else but then they thought well what if we did an open world idea for resistance and they had talked about how it basically like wrote itself having these encounters and being able to travel around the world in the resistance world seemed really really cool to them and and honestly they believed that it would have worked and sony immediately shut it down there really was no and again that's why you know it only goes so far you know what i mean it, it was immediately something where it's just not gonna happen they then even said like they wonder how well resistance did now i've been saying it along you know in, in any of the videos i've talked about re with resistance one of my main things and the thing that i definitely remember happening and being said out loud and just being kind of known the resistance games never sold well none of them not uh, any of the three i know there was technically the vita game none of the main three ever sold well the third one they put a lot of money in it there was all you know, it was a big budget thing the they even had multiplayer right two and three and it was just it was a big deal and they still i mean three i believe did the best in sales out of the trilogy but it still was nowhere near enough and kind of it actually made Insomniac very, very disappointed. I think it's honestly what led them to go down the route of, well, maybe we try Sunset Overdrive with Xbox, and then eventually, obviously, coming back with being bought and Spider-Man and all that stuff. But it, you know, sad, really, really sad, because in my opinion, Resistance is easily one of the most underappreciated, um, I mean, game franchises, trilogies, whatever you want to say, one of easily the most you know underappreciated, because those games are phenomenal. Two is very different. I get it. Three is my personal favorite. I love it to death. And uh, and it has never really made an impact beyond... I'm not saying like they didn't sell a million or two million. I mean, they sold a very small amount of millions, which just wasn't enough at the time. And honestly probably wouldn't be enough now that's kind of the thing with with uh you know ben studios where yeah i mean the idea of an open world resistance game would be cool but like does sony hear resistance and they just like all they get like petrified like in harry Potter, like they don't know what to do it's like oh those games didn't do well and then if we do them again now I personally think they have a uh, they could come back and they could make an impact and it, and it could be something special. I 1000% believe that. Maybe it's like maybe it's too optimistic, but it is an optimistic side of me where it's like even these games that failed in the past, as long as there was something there and it could be sales, but it was a bad game and maybe it could be redeemed or you know the whatever, like however whichever aspect of it you want to do, as long as there was one thing that was good and with Resistance, it was the fact that the games were actually amazing. And it's just nobody really bought them. But you had the formula. So I, I do think trying it again many years later. I mean, we're it's, what, a decade after Resistance 3 at this point? Like, I do think it would work. So it would have maybe worked. Maybe it wouldn't have worked. Maybe you didn't want the studio that made Days Gone to make a Resistance open world game. But I'll tell you right now. You know, I, I'm not against Men in Black at all. You know, the, them doing a Men in Black game, I think actually could be really, really cool. I would take an open world resistance game, even though it sounds weird. That's not exactly how resistance is, but I would take that any day of the week if you pitched it to me, and I would take it over a lot of other things. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. I do a brand new video on the channel every single day, and so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.